Okay, um, <clears throat> I'm going to put a link in the description to, uh, I have another video where I show how to tune to OpenG tuning, if you don't already know. I'm assuming this video assumes a few things, that you um, are already in OpenG or know how to get into OpenG. If not, you can watch my video. And assumes that you already play guitar and are just getting into OpenG. And this is just going to be very simple stuff that I know, that I don't really see anybody else teaching that might fill in some of the blanks. So we'll start with where our one chord, the G. Our four chord at the fifth fret. Our five chord at the seventh fret. And our uh, uh, one chord back at the twelfth fret. Down to seven, down to five, and then I pull off at uh, the third fret. Okay, so one chord, four chord, five chord, one chord. And I'm just going to teach a basic shuffle where our all our licks and chords are in open G. So, like my open D video, we're at the third, we're on the, the fifth, our root is on the fifth string, okay, on the low fifth string, and I'm going to be hitting both of these, the fifth and the fourth, and then at the second fret, my first finger, And I'm going to slide up to the uh, third fret, four string. So. Then up to the fifth fret, and we're going to cover all the strings up to the fifth, uh, the low fifth string. you get better at dampening. I didn't do any dampening through that. <clears throat> what happens is you can get something like this going.
So what I was doing there when I was in the chords was I was hitting this, but I was also going down to the first, to the second string at the first first fret. And I did that up here at the four chord too, by uh, uh, just transposed it. Okay, so I was going. Second string. slide into the turnaround. And what I'm doing there is I am um, on the fourth string at the third fret and I'm hitting that one and the open, your open high string. start a, a song like that. As you see, I changed guitars for no particular reason. Anyway, so we have this. Okay. We can also do it here. That's me covering the fourth string at the third fret, leaving this the middle the G string open and covering the B string. Okay, so I'm leaving everything open. string at the third fret, leave the fifth string open, and on the sixth string, okay? string, third fret, third string, fourth fret, leaving the bottom string, the top string open. And there's a lot of stuff, a lot of licks in here.
touch on quickly is if you know your pentatonic scale in standard tuning, most of it is still here in open G. This string and this string, this would make you sound like you were in a G chord in standard tuning. So your pentatonic is still here. Fifth fret, third fret, open, okay? 
G major chord. You can use that note. Sunhouse especially a lot of times. So all I'm doing there, and then I'm hitting my G. That's kind of a rhythm they use a lot in the Delta. something in one of my other videos they, they left a comment about I can't play with those picks okay I get it you don't have to you don't have to play with any picks fingers. 
So a flat pick and these fingers. Okay. Use the pick that you want to use. Um, you don't have to use finger picks. I use them because I can really dig in. And I just like them. I played with a, a, a thumb pick for many years. Or for, with a flat pick for many years and then moved to just a thumb pick and then finger picks later on. Um, it takes time, but for me it's been worth it for this type of music. On electric guitar I just use a thumb pick, no finger picks. I don't use a flat pick anymore. But whatever works for you. I want to go back to our uh, four and five chord for a minute. I am learning them down here. Um, this is would be our chord, our four chord here. So this chord at the seventh fret down here, and you're on the first, second string, first fret, third string, second fret, and then everything open. You can also add this in. string to the next string. Leave your first finger where it is to your uh, fourth, uh, yeah, fourth string, second fret. There's your four chord, so your five chord, your four chord, and then back to your one chord. Okay? So if you're playing something,
sometimes with that turnaround, I'll just use it when I'm on the one chord. Or I'll just use half of it in substitution of the one chord. what I want to say is is that um, I think it's important to just improvise when you learn these positions and these little licks uh, in open G um, you can go to the records of the old guys and hear a lot of this stuff you might not know it exactly the way they're playing it but you'll know a variation of it and when you hear it you'll recognize and go oh hey I know that but I play it this way and then try and learn it their way I also think it's important that, I mean, some people want to learn the old guy's music note for note, and I get it. Um, I never really have. Some of their songs I did, and then I lost that original version because I improvised and played around so much that eventually I forgot the original version. Blues music isn't top 40 music. It's not a static music. It's always moving, breathing, changing. And as far as I'm concerned, with slide guitar, it being so wide open, it's just, it's the greatest musical medium to me to, uh, to improvise. And so that's what I do. And uh, I hope this video helped you.